Hey folks, welcome to Hardly Working. A package arrived, so I believe it's time for my first unboxing and assembly. That's right, all the way from the UK, we have one Tensegrity table. Now, I decided to buy this a couple months ago after that Steve Mould video describing Tensegrity tables. I'll put his link down in the description. And it that video made these so popular that it went into extreme back order. Well, now that it's here, let's open it up. Lovely. A box within a bag. Perfect. Oh. It comes with its own little pamphlet. This is the company that CNC'd the table. They are known for their Sterling Engines. Their website, sterlingengines.co.uk, that's also going to be in the description. So they seemed to pack it very efficiently. They even got a catalog of their Sterling Engines in. And here is the main attraction. It has instructions online, it has a bunch of warnings, so we are aware that this is hardly a toy. Ooh, that is pretty. And my favorite part about this, it comes with its own tools. So here's the assembly. We have our bag of hardware. There's three little retainer clips for the wire that's going to go under this base right here. And we, of course, have our wires, our aluminum frame, which comes with a guide so we can hold it there while we install the support wire. And here's our top plate. Now, for the beginning, you are going to start by just attaching these two aluminum plates. And you're going to get that in the right position with this frame. And those will be held in with these, the largest screws in the set. Which surprisingly, the included tool does not fit. But it's all right. They only need to be hands tight. Just to keep them in the correct positioning. And then we take this, the shortest wire, and that is going to be what keeps these two parts together. And those are held by these small round head screws. They have round head and they have countersunk. Don't confuse them because they go in two very different specific places. Seems we can just loop the wire over the head of the screw if we're careful. There we go. And now we'll tighten the top down. Before we go at the other end.
and that is why you wear gloves that fit. No worries, I found and attached it, and when I did, I noticed that instead of going on the head around here, it has a little slot in the middle for the wire to be held far more rigid. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. Not like this. Okay, now that we have the center wire properly hooked up, we mount it to these top and bottom plates. It's not going to matter which goes where, they have the holes machined into them. You just have to make sure that where there's a countersink goes on the outside. So it'll go like this, and we have these special screws that will keep it flush against the base. <sighs> Tiny things. They're fun, except when they're not. But this can be fun, except when it's not. Get the angle right, get the threads to catch. There we go. That's our top plate assembled, nice and rigid. Now thanks to this jig, setting up the other side should be easier. First we get it in the hole, and then we get it on the post. You don't want to tighten the one down until you got them both in. Because when one is over tightened, it makes it more difficult to twist if you need to find the other thread hole. There we go. On tightened. I'd say we're nearly halfway there. Now our next step is we gotta mess with these long wires. There's three of them, enough to make a triangle balancing system. We have loop end into the top plate and we have loose end into the bottom plate. We're gonna start by just pre-threading our retainer screw in. Not so far that it's poking through this hole right here, because that's where we're going to thread the loop end of this wire. Just like that. Then we can tighten it in. There we go. Okay, now all three wires are attached to the top plate. We need to thread the other end through these small holes in the base plate. There's going to be one beneath where 
they're attached at each top plate. And that is going to be the start of our structural integrity. The wires are through and we've flipped it over to now install these retainer shuttles. They are going to go on the opposite of each wire in these pre-made channels and we're going to make sure that the hole on the face is pointing out. So we have these facing inward where we can attach the wires. Now we have the rest of our hardware on. We just need to attach everything where it's going to be sitting. So we're going to wrap the wire around and just use this screw to cinch it into place. And that's not going anywhere. It does not matter if they cross over each other. Everything will eventually settle into place. Now the wires are on, all the slack has been taken out. Now we get to undo this helpful little jig and see how well it stands, where we need to tension it. That's one. Oh. Here we are. And that is a totally self standing table. We just need to adjust a couple of screws. Oh, silly me. I forgot to install the foot pads. Now we just go around and tighten where we see loose cables. And there we have it. Tensegrity table. Now that this is built, maybe I can explain why this is special. Essentially we have the top hanging off of the bottom. And the only way that that can happen in a stable manner is if they have these supports pulling it into place so that this is always centered. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.